Okay, folks, if you're wanting to know how the streaming feature on Telegram works, uh, I initially thought it was from Telegram you streamed it out to like YouTube or Facebook in that direction. But I realized that Telegram is a platform where there's a whole community on. There'll be people in groups, there'll be people on channels. So you want to be able to stream into that channel. So it's Telegram is functioning like a YouTube or like a Facebook. It's receiving the signal coming through. So which signal do we have to put in the program that we are sending through to Telegram? That information comes from Telegram itself. So uh, I've just set up a channel here. I've called it my demo channel. You could set up a group. It doesn't matter which one you do. But if you click on to the icon here, you will see it's got three options now. Um, it's got start live stream, which we're familiar with, starting a group stream chat etc in groups or in a channel schedule it you can schedule the thing to start at a certain time or it's a countdown clock but this is the one that's quite new that we want to look at here stream with so what we're going to do is use something like obs and i was fiddling with it earlier so it might be slightly glitchy when i start it up i just want to make sure that uh under stream yeah i've got these settings in here already but these settings i got from the telegram channel that i just set up now the reason why they're in there it's because i was fiddling with this just before the recording started so if you go here and i click on stream with okay so this is going to be the information i'm going to copy over into obs into my stream so i'm going to choose custom and Put this in there and copy the stream key. Make sure you don't let people see the stream key else. If they have that, they could be transmitting onto your channel. Okay, so keep that quite uh, secure. Okay, so we pop that in here under stream. Uh, and as per usual with anything on OBS, make sure your output audios and everything is is going fine it's, it's set up properly uh, okay but this is the key area you put these two bits of information in click ok and then you're going to start your streaming okay so i'm going to just start this here switch this on and i'm going to switch it here i'm i'm on studio mo mode so whatever's on the left is like the prep window and when i press transition it brings it over to the right window what's on the right is being now uh sent out of obs now at the moment i could start recording then it will record what's on the right or i could start streaming so my streaming usually would go to something like youtube facebook or twitch or whatever it is that it's set up to do in this case now as i've showed you we went to go to put in the telegram channel we are using we put in that information that the channel's given us so every channel you create will give you new information that you utilize in this area Okay, so whatever's going to go out here when we stream is going to go to this area, the server and the stream key, which is that Telegram channel we had created. Okay, or I created before I started the video now. It's just to save some time. So what we're going to do now is going to say, let's start the stream. Click start stream. It's busy connecting. And then on Telegram, I've got to click here in the area here, start streaming. So now it's going to pop up a dialog window and this is what your audience sees. Okay, it says, oops, Telegram doesn't seem to get a stream coming in because it takes a few seconds for it to buffer from OBS into Telegram. Okay, same thing happens with YouTube. Um, it buffers and then when you watch it on the streaming thing, you'll see it just smoothly. Okay, so this works like normal groups. The only difference is you're not going to have a list of people's names that are joining the group and everything. This viewer is literally for the person to see the stream coming through that's the purpose of it so if you're having an event and you want to broadcast that event you will use something like this so whoever logs into the channel and joins up clicks join here uh, what they will see is this window popping up here okay and if i minimize obs uh, this is what the people will see on that side so they're seeing the stream coming from obs on your side and the nice thing with OBS is you could put lower thirds, you could put, you know, all the editing processes, you can do stacks of stuff in OBS. So it's, OBS is a broadcasting package, you could layer things, do effects, everything. Um, 
and then I mean yeah you could just maximize it and the person will watch this on the full screen and this has been streamed now from OBS okay and if you go through here you could also record it you could set the settings possibly when it goes here uh, you might need to set your earphone settings so you can hear it well etc okay but there we go and there's it playing there now it's live streaming through there and that's that's how you set it up so hopefully you start to get uh, used to utilizing it and it probably will become more slick over time but i think it's a brilliant feature now so your audience on telegram are able to see a live stream of something great stuff okay so have a fantastic day and shalom